TC Spiritual Shepherd. Welcome back to the Spiritual Shepherd YouTube channel. Today we're going to be getting into internalization and externalization. So first and foremost, like, comment, share, subscribe, share this with somebody that you feel is of value, that somebody will value this. There's a free school community below for people who are of like-minded high vibe tribe like we are as well as if you guys are interested i'm going to leave a form below if you guys want to do personal coaching with me or interconnect uh one-on-one -on -one together so then you guys can move up and up level into your life now let's just get started first and foremost externalization okay internalization is is very easy to kind of understand externalization is a little bit different because we tend to conceptualize things and we will build things around why we externalize something or a belief system why we do it i guess same with internalization we cultivate a belief system of why we are to internalize this or why we are to personalize this or why we are to go more internally eternally why, why are we to go more inside of ourselves now first and foremost externalization that is a form of where you will externalize something, where you will do something on the external, and you'll say, you know, this is not a part of me, uh, this is not who I am, or this is not connected to me, or this being is greater than me, this being is lesser than me, this being, so di different types of things like this, depending on our frequency vibrations that we have, or that we emit. Now, one big cultiv cultivation of this is as we start to accumulate more and more chi, more and more chi, and then we channel it into specific belief systems or lack thereof belief systems, because we have belief systems that say yes and say no. So that is the big thing is, so what are your belief systems and permission slips saying? And what do you cultivate for your permission slips? A permission slip is something that you allow yourself to permit. So you're like, okay, this is, or permit, this is ultimately like something that I can do. So that is what you're, a lot of things is we externalize God. We will externalize God all the time. And I, I don't always generally say it, but that's what I'm talking about in this entire video is that we externalize God. We always externalize him. He's some white bearded man in the sky. You know, like that's always the externalization of who God is. God is Santa Claus, ultimately. He brings gifts, he, he, you know, he punishes you if you're bad, he gives you good stuff if you're good, stuff like that where it's not necessarily that way, but that is how it is programmed into the society, into the being, into the personality, into the personal reality or the interpersonal reality of a person or a being. Now the trueness, the truth, the trust, worthiness, capability of this is, is that this is more of a impersonal energy or impersonal energetic most high level vibration. It's a most high frequency. It's the, it's the most high frequency vibration that could possibly exist. That is what God really is. And that is interpersonal, that is internal. Meaning that we we allow ourselves to be on certain vibrational frequencies based on what we think our worth is based on trust so how much we trust ourselves based on our self based on our self worth based on our self worthiness or how or lack thereof that's the thing too is is like you'll you'll see why people act the way they act based on how they see themselves and how worthy or not worthy they believe that they think that they are, which is self-perpetuation cycle, self-fulfilling prophecy, self-concept. And this inner connection of you seeing and identifying identity, internalization of specific frequency wavelengths. So if I believe that I'm worthy, then I'm going to see more experiences in my external experience of how I'm already internally worthy. Therefore, you will start to be like, that person, that person has what I have. That person has what I want. Da, da, da. A lot of people will say that. A lot of, that person has what I have. And it's it's what? Having. Having is an internal state of being. It's not necessary because having is a, is, is a state of mind. Having is 1000% a state of mind, is a state of being. And so when you're on the beingness and when you're on the frequency of, I have a great relationship. I have a great house. I have a great home. I have a great family. I have a, uh, you know, a great car. I have a great business. I have a great da da da. And you continuously come from the the version of I have and I am and I love and I know and I am wise and all these different frequencies, these affirmations. I mean, what are suggestions too? It's just someone suggesting that you affirm it. 
That's what a suggestion is. Someone suggesting that you affirm it. Someone suggesting that you affirm it. I have to say it. Those are those are two like-minded things in in how we speak. Then there's contemplation. Then there's contemplation, which is questioning, which is more feminine, which is more like testing, which is more uh, you know, I want to see if this this being really can contemplate the correct way to believe the right things. Is it right? Is it wrong? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it something for me? Is it something not for me? It's always a duality. It's always a femininity. It's always a, a, a negative and not negative as in bad, a negative as in electromagnetism. It is magnetic, which is generally allowing things to come to you. And we internalize and we externalize all of this stuff. So we, a lot of things is when we think that we're generally unworthy, we will externalize it and we'll say, that person has what I want, that person travels, that person, you know, uh, oh, that person, that person, that person. It's always never you in that general instance. And then when we internalize it, that's when we generally can start to attract the frequency and reality that, that which we love. When we're on the frequency of I have, I have, it's here, it's right in, it's inside of me, it's it's how I can change my heart, it's how I can change my mind, how can I change my perception, how can I change my perspective of how I see the same thing? How can I change my perception and perspective about the same thing, about the same exact thing? They're, they're equal levels, but my perception's different. So one was negative when I would perceive it first, and now it's neutral. Those are two different perceptions about the same thing. Didn't even get into positivity, but I'm saying like, it could be negative or it could be neutral. Like you don't even have to react. You don't even have to react. That is the powerful thing. That is the up leveling of your life is when you can start to, when you start to not react about the things that you used to react about. That is a very powerful place to be. I also say fail your way to success. Like continuously fail your way to success. Fail your way to success. You'll have different mishaps, you'll have different speed bumps, you know, you'll have different things. They're, they're lessons, they're tests. And it's how you, it's how stoic are you? How stoic can you react? How are you? How are you reacting or responding in that general instance? How can you be the best version of yourself in that instance when it is testing you to see if you're gonna if you're gonna crack, if you're going to be a lower vibrational entity, if you're going to react negatively, if you're gonna react low vibrationally, or are you going to say are you gonna respond the way that you've been programming your mind positively, 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 and then respond neutrally and positively towards situations that you used to react negatively to? Absolutely. And then if you're in that type of instance, then you have already increased your frequency. You are already starting to internalize more self-worth. You are starting to externalize less things where you are actually starting to realize that everything is an internal notification. Everything is internal. Everything is based internally. Everything is solved internally. And so how everything is stoicism. Everything is stoic. So it's like if you look at something how you have a perception internally, how you have the internal perception of, of something externally, of an external experience, is how you believe the external experience to be. And so when you don't necessarily react negatively to anything, you have already won. You already have won. You already have won. And that is the cultivation of you're already rich. You already have the family. You already have the wealth. You already have the, the perseverance. You already have the business. You already have the you know cultivation. You already have the vibration. You already have the, the, the spirituality. You already have the enlightenment. You already have this. It's just by recognition and realization and actualization of this where you start to put into practice activities, actions, actualizations, habits, constru habitual construction of specific habits you know and you start to really live it you start to really cultivate trustworthiness meaning you build trust you build trustworthiness you build truth which means what is telling the truth it is building trustworthiness so how do you build trustworthiness you build trust so you say I'm gonna do something and then you do it trust is interconnected with integrity integrity is saying you're gonna do something and then you do it and so then when you say I'm gonna trust myself to do this and then you do it now you've built worthiness on that trust so now you're like okay I'm worthy and then you can cultivate that worthiness and that self-worthiness and now you have self-worth you cultivate more self-worth you you trust yourself which is knowing yourself which is 